Hello and welcome. My name is Van. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very common question which I have seen uh, students or even parents struggling with that because there's a lot of questions, um, a lot of posting on Facebook asking for help. Uh, basically, it's a very simple question. Uh, a double E for scenarios. Basically, nothing has happened. The original is always the same. And what is even easier in this kind of question is that a person, one of the person, one of the subjects, has spent all her money. So whatever that she spent is equal to her original amount of money. So let's take a look at this question, which is from 2014, MGS SA1, paper 2, question 18. Janice and Mariso had some money. If Janice spends $40 per day and Marissa spent $80 per day, Marissa would have $500 left by the time Janice spent all her money. If Janice spends $80 per day and Marissa spent $40 per day, Marissa would have $1,100 left by the time Janice spends all her money. Find the total amount of money Marissa and Janice had. So, a bit of understanding. The original amount of money by right, by right should be whatever that the person spent plus whatever that is left. But in this case, it's slightly special, slightly uh, easier because Janice spends all her money. So her spending is actually equal to the original amount of money. Okay, so our very purpose is always to work backwards to find what is their original amount of money because this is what is always the same. It has never changed. So using the two scenarios, we can find out Okay, analyzing in scenario one, if Jenny spends forty dollars per day and Marissa spends eighty dollars, so it's as good as telling us that given the same number of days, Marissa would have spent double that of what Jenny spent. So if Jenny spent this red block, okay, and we were told that she spent all her money in the two scenarios, so I can put in a red block in scenario 2 as well. Okay, going back to scenario 1, Mar Marissa spent double, so Mar Marissa should have two blocks of red. This is a spending, and we have to add on to whatever that is left, which is $500. Okay, that's why I say this is the original amount of money that Marissa have, and it should be the same also for scenario 2. So analyzing scenario 2 now, Jenny spent $80 per day and Marissa spent $40 per day. Again, we can see that 80 and 40 is actually Marissa spent half of what Jenny spent. Okay, so half of this red block, well, I can't call it red anymore. Let's uh, denote it with a different color, with blue. Alright, and then Mar Marissa would have $1,100 left. So draw another long block touch, that touches all the way to the dotted line because this is the original amount of money. They are the same. Okay, so, well, fundamentals, we know that we cannot add the blue to the red. So what do we do? Can we change all the blue or all the red? In this case, I will change all the blue because it's easier. I'm working with whole numbers. I don't have to deal with half. All right, let's change. So from scenario two, we know that Janice is the blue, the red portion is double that of the blue. So change Janice and likewise do the rest for scenario one. So now I think it's pretty obvious how to solve the question with just model. Right, so here we can use Marissa model to solve. Because Janice uh, basically to help us uh, change everything. All right, one and two, uh, two units, two units. But what is crucial here is that you see that in Marissa's sum of money, original amount of money, one is four units plus $500, the other is one unit plus $1,100. So whatever the difference here after taking away the $500 in units, we know that that is one, two, three units. And value is $1,100, take away $500. So basically, 
yes, we are there. We have solved the whole equi um the whole question, just with model. So it's one thousand one hundred uh, one thousand one hundred dollars plus six hundred dollars. Okay, we don't even have to solve what is one unit because this is the original amount of money. One, two, three units plus one thousand and one hundred dollars. So that's it. This is the question. Of course, as I always advocate, understand with pictorial, with model, and then move on to the abstract representation of just using units. Because in a couple of months, students will have to deal with the X and Y variables, <laughs> even Z. Okay, let's take a look here, how we can actually just solely express using ratio and units to solve this question. So again, spending uh, Janice is forty dollars. Janice is eighty dollars. Reduce the simplest form will be one unit and two units. But I wouldn't want to use this because uh, looking at scenario two, I know that Marissa spent half of what Janice does. So if Janice spent one unit, Marissa would be half a unit. So in order to avoid using fraction decimal, I change to two units for Janice. So likewise, correspondingly, I have to have the four units for Marissa, double of two. In this. So add on, uh, add back to, uh, to what is left. For Janice, it's nothing. For Marissa, it's $500. So we know the original amount of money in terms of units. Two units for Janice, four units plus $500 for Marissa. Okay, so since we know that the, or, uh, the amount of money for Janice is two units and that she spent all her money in scenario one and two, so we can say that Janice also spent two units. So if Jenny spent two units, and looking at the statement in scenario two, if Jenny spent eighty dollars per day and Marissa spent forty dollars, so given the same number of days, Marissa will spend half. So half of two units is one unit. Okay. So the same thing. Add back, uh, what is left. So, Jenny, in terms of units, is two units, and Marissa is one unit plus one thousand and one hundred dollars. So again, the same thing. We have reduced to the same expression, rather. So at this time, you may need to manipulate the expression because basically they are an equation. Because four units plus five hundred dollars is equal to one unit plus one thousand and one hundred dollars because this is the sum of money that Marissa had, regardless of the scenario. Okay, this is the original amount of money. So manipulate to means you put all the units on the left hand side and all the value, the dollar value, to the right hand side. So at this point, again, I may want to use model to show you how it can be um, understood just with model and then move on later, uh, later part of your, as your, in your studies, you just use the expressions. Equal, draw to equal model because this is the amount of money that Marissa had. So one is four units plus $500. The other is one unit plus $1,100. So you see the two expression here. So again, whatever difference here, okay, we are able to capture. So here in terms of units, again we know that is four units, four units, take away one unit, so is three units. Okay, the same thing, one thousand one hundred take away five hundred dollars, we have six hundred dollars so basically we came back to the same model all right so now we have basically solved the whole equation uh, the whole question using just units so as what I always say once you have understood with the model with the pictorial move on to the abstract representation hope you have enjoyed this video and have benefited from it um, please give me a comment, a feedback, a like or dislike, or even to subscribe to the channel. So that at least I know that I am on the right path, doing something that is of value to people around here. That's it. Um, and I hope to see you again. Have a nice day and goodbye.